I decided to make this new segment, which I'm probably just gonna call O News or something, just about tech news that's happened in the past week or so. And in this first edition, let's just get right into it. Firstly, let's get to the hardware side of things, where Intel CPUs, their 11th gen lineup, has been leaked in both specifications as well as performance numbers in CPU-Z, apparently. And it's not that promising because those CPUs have been beaten out by their 10th gen CPUs, which is not that promising because, you know, it's a newer CPU, but it could just be because it's an early stepping, so the performance might be better once we actually get the actual retail hardware, which will probably clock higher. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. On the other hand, Intel has also stopped selling their Avengers Edition CPUs, which is a surprise to absolutely no one because the game absolutely tanked in sales and those CPUs are also not that special because those Avengers Edition CPUs don't even have any Avengers marking on the CPUs. It's just literally the same CPU inside an Avengers box. So uh, yeah, obviously they're, they're, they're gonna get canceled either way. So that's about it for Intel. And for Nvidia side, they have started innovating in trying to get silicon photonics into their NVLink standard, which means they're trying to transfer data using light instead of electricity, which will be really interesting to see once they finally put it to use and maybe have it trickle down to end users in consumer desktop space eventually. That'll be really cool. And as well as Nvidia has launched their new RTX A6000 GPU, which is not a Quadro anymore, even though it's a workstation card. But apparently this GPU has 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. So not GDDR6X like the 3090, but it does have a fully enabled GA102 core. So it is really powerful and it costs a lot of money. Something that gamers wouldn't even dream to buy because it's not useful for that. It's for workstation users that actually do work in their PCs that need that much memory from their GPU and for compute. And speaking of Nvidia, their manufacturer TSMC is planning to roll out their three nanometer manufacturing process in 2023, which is gonna be really interesting to see how Intel catches up, seeing that they're still on 14 nanometers, which is gonna be way behind AMD once AMD also jumped into the TSMC bandwagon of three nanometer once that launches. So. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how Intel competes with that because that's just way ahead of them right now. And on the AMD side as well, Gigabyte is trying to launch their new TRX40 Threadripper Pro motherboard, which is pretty interesting because those Threadripper Pro motherboards and CPUs were never sold to the public. They were usually just for system integrators because they're limited quantity or something. But yeah, those Threadripper Pro CPUs are basically like the normal Threadripper, but except they have eight channel memory, so you can support more memory in them. And with this motherboard, maybe we'll start seeing those CPUs sold in retail or at least be more accessible to end users, which would be interesting. And one surprise as well is that Microsoft is trying to develop their own chips for their servers, probably based on ARM, which is not that surprising actually, considering that Amazon is already trying to make their own CPUs for their servers called their Graviton line. And Microsoft is basically trying to catch up and not be left behind from using just Intel or AMD CPUs, which are not specialized to their needs. So this will be very interesting to take a look at how it develops because, well, it might be the year of the ARM CPUs in 2021 if this goes on. Considering Apple's M1 CPUs as well as many ARM server CPUs being launched recently. Now for the software side of the news, there's some interesting things that developed over these past week, which is that Epic Games is starting to put Spotify in their app store. So maybe it's just the beginning of them trying to put more apps into their Epic Games store, which is probably not going to be Epic Games anymore. It's just going to be Epic Store because they're trying to broaden out their portfolio instead of just games. And another thing is that Cyberpunk, which is in a hot topic in the news lately, is that Cyberpunk basically flopped its launch. Well, I have played the game and it's pretty decent for me for a PC gamer. They have been complained by PS4 users for having a terrible experience and performance. And basically, finally, Sony and Cyberpunk producer CD Projekt Red caved in and let users have refunds. Even though they also just launched a few hotfixes for PC and PlayStation and Xbox users that is supposed to improve performance. And speaking of that Cyberpunk 1.05 hotfix, they have finally put a patch that fixed their AMD Ryzen CPU usage, where the community basically already found out that if you change some strings using a hex editor, that'll change the CPU usage and Ryzen CPUs to use all the cores. But without the fix, AMD CPUs basically stopped using their logical cores, basically having their thread usage. But with this new hotfix, it finally put in the new fix that which lets the games use more CPU threads for CPUs with six or less cores for the AMD Ryzen CPUs. It's weird that they didn't put the fix for eight, 12, and 16 cores, 
but that's probably because those CPUs already have enough threads to work with anyways. And with this new hotfix, you can check out the performance benefits from this new Gamers Nexus video that they just launched as well, which is, I think, quite interesting to see how much a performance boost it can give by just using more cores instead of not using them. And speaking of Game Awards, I think that it would be really funny to just mention this, which is that in the Game Awards, apparently The Last of Us won a lot of things and people got really frustrated with that. And they have finally responded to that, which is, again, not that a great of a response. You can check it out on the link below if you want to read more about it. And speaking of another ridiculous thing is that Twitch has basically started banning the words simps, virgin, and incels on their Twitch chats, which kind of outraged some streamers and watchers. And that's also linked down below if you want to read more about it, as well as any of the other news that I mentioned, like on the hardware side. But that's about it for this news section of this week. There isn't much else to go on. There's mostly just hardware stuff this week. But that's also really interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, maybe click the like button and maybe click subscribe to see more of the news videos as well as my typical videos as well. But yeah, thanks for watching.